Do you want a short getaway from the busy and chaotic life in Dublin? Do you want to breathe some fresh air and enjoy beautiful sceneries but not really going away too much? I will show you places where all of this are possible. Below the hilly headland at the northern boundary of Dublin Bay lies the small fishing village of Hoth. You can reach Hoth using the northbound Dart, a fast train service from Dublin's city centre. Personally, Hoth is one of my favourite go-to places near Dublin. It has magnificent views with different trekking trails. wondering why I was wearing a long white dress while trekking is because this is where we took our wedding photos. This was in August 2019 and it's supposed to be warm but the water is the Atlantic Ocean so expect that it's still going to be a little cold during summer. If you're lucky with the beautiful weather, Hoth could be a beautiful spot to watch the sunset. After our trekking, we are now eating in the Summit Inn and we are with our friend Miguel. Hello, we're having chowder. Seafood chowder, that's the best chowder in both. And that one? It's just roasted chicken and the famous fish and chips. Fish and chips! Yoi! Hoth is famous for their seafoods and there are many restaurants along the seafront. Another place that you can visit is Kilini Beach. You can reach the beach again through Dart. It has a long stretch of stony beach which makes walking and swimming a challenge. It has stunning views of Bray Head, Dalkey Island and Sorrento Terrace. You can also include a walk to the Kiline Hill. Kiline Hill is a popular destination for walkers and hikers, availing of the spectacular views over the surrounding areas. Dublin to the northwest, the Irish Sea and the mountains of Wales on a clear day, to the east and southeast, and Brayhead and the Wicklow Mountains to the south. After enjoying a short afternoon walk, we headed to the small town of Dalkey, where we ate our delicious dinner. One thing I've noticed is that Kilini and Dalkey have affluent suburbs. 
you can easily take note of the big mansions. Last but not the least, I'm going to show you one of my favorite destinations near Dublin, Bray. The scene is dominated by Bray Head. The town of Bray boasts fine hotels, shops, restaurants, and evening entertainment. spur of the Wicklow Mountains, Bray Head is a 241 meter hill watching over the south side of the town. You can begin a calorie burning ascent from Bray's Victorian promenade, scrambling to the summit for widescreen vistas of Bray, the Dublin Bay and Inland Mountains. Up in the hill is a stone cross built in 1950. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Indeed, Ireland has so many stunning places to visit, and sometimes you don't have to go far away from Dublin. If you have limited time visiting Dublin, a short side trip is always a good idea. We came from there, there, and we walk here, going up here, 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 up here, until here. Oh my gosh! As we dance, we are going to eat burger today, and we are his. They have all these small shops, food shops. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.